Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now when we left off, we were kind of figuring out what to do with our ring wraith set, or at least that is what I wanted to do in my off screen time and I've done that and as you can see most of my forces are now level 51 because I've been artificially increasing the time. So you know, going to a fast travel point, whether that be a Hydea tower or one of your own fortresses and basically just pressing advanced time. And I've been using this system to make it a lot easier for us to figure out what's going to happen, who's going to win which battle and so on and so forth. Haven't had any of the theatrics so to speak, because I haven't really seen any battles between these guys, and I've just seen the results, but that does tend to help with the upgrading a little bit quicker. Now, as you can see, Scoth Trollborn has fallen victim to someone. I actually don't know who I sent against him, but there was a pit fight between two of my guys, and this guy succumbed to the Grim Reaper's grasp, I guess you could say. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to resurrect him. And he is a marksman. I've already done this with a number of other archetypes. And as you can see, that has upgraded our hammer. Oh yes. So let us go over to our inventory. I'm just going to show you what I've upgraded so far. I have upgraded my chest piece. I think I had a tank that I sent in a battle against, I think it was Scoth Trollborn actually, and Scoth won, and then I resurrected the tank, and I also have my ring, and there was a commander, and I sent them, I sent a commander against one of my other guys, and, well, the commander died, and so I was able to, I was able to do that, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, we have a Beastmaster to do still, we can of course upgrade Helm's Hammer right here. And that's pretty nice. Now there's a level 60 upgrade challenge. A level 60 upgrade challenge every single time you advance these guys. So need to get to level 60 or shall we say need to get to level 55 or higher to be able to resurrect these level 55 orcs. Otherwise we can resurrect an assassin. I think we actually do have an assassin available in this region. Otherwise we need to resurrect a slayer. Now as far as I'm aware the only slayer that I have under my control is available in the Minas Morgul region, so I'm probably going to have to head over there if I want to upgrade my sword. Anyway, let's see what we can do about the assassin, shall we? Anyway, I have, think, uh, yes, Ronk. Ronk the Elder. He is my only assassin at the moment, I think. Yeah, I think it was Hoshgrish that I, yes, Hoshgrish was the fellow that, that died and I resurrected him. But yes, everyone else is okay. Do I have a Beastmaster here? I don't think I do. No, I don't have no, I don't have a Beastmaster. So this is the only guy that we can technically do anything with. Unfortunately, he's currently on a Growl hunt. So I'm gonna have to go and advance time. As you can see, this is the advanced time thing that I've been doing. And as you can see, all of their timers are reducing. And this is basically it. I've just been doing that. So it, it is kind of interesting to see what happens at an accelerated rate, though. I think it's actually quite interesting. Okay, so let's see what happens here between these guys. Obviously, Ronk is going to succeed very easily in dealing with the Graugs. And now it's Bolg the Wall against Grisha the Bard. Oh my! Whoa, I am... I'm actually really surprised. Apparently Grisha the Bard is just so good. Yeah, now the Bard is someone that sings to you, as far as I'm aware. So yeah, I'm just actually really sad that Bolg was eliminated so easily. He was an absolute beast. He was really, really good. But I, I guess, well, I guess not good enough. Oh yeah, by the way, this fellow is from one of the silver chests silver war chests that I bought. I actually bought a couple of those off screen. I opened about three of them and this guy was in one of those. So he's pretty cool. I'm actually thinking about sending him to be our overlord into the, you know, into the online fight pits. I think that could be pretty fun. But we currently have our Saku ear collector over there so yes maybe we'll do that but obviously Moog is currently undergoing a trial by ordeal at the moment so obviously that's 
Yeah, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Okay, so, yeah, now we can do something with Ronk the Elder, so I guess I should send him to fight... Uh, Zoon? I think Zoon could probably beat him. Let's send him against Zoon. Let's do that. I I've become a little bit more fearless in dealing with these kinds of situations now, so it's more than likely I'm going to be sending in Ushak at some point to the online fight pits just to see how he actually does, because he is fantastic. We know how damaging and how amazing he can be. And now we have a bunch of very, very high-level orcs, by the way, because these guys start at level 58, and they just get higher and higher as they go. And, I mean, you can see this guy... <laughs> we know this guy's very difficult, don't we? Yeah, so we're going to have to deal with him as well. But anyway, let's just hope that I'll be able to resurrect this assassin. This is what I've been doing to level up the Ringwraith set. And hopefully once I'm done with the assassin, we'll be able to head onward maybe to the next region. Or, yeah, maybe do something like that. Who knows? Anyway, there's one more tick to go. And then we will have our answer, whether we can advance our assassin. Our assassin item. Okay, so Zoon. Come on, Zoon. I'm sure you're going to win. I I'm sure Zoon is going to... He died? He got killed by ghouls? Are you serious? I, I am very surprised. Okay, so literally the guy that I got from the chest literally died from ghouls. I'm very surprised, really. He had awesome, awesome stuff, by the way, that fellow. Where is he? He just disappeared because this guy took his place already, but yeah, that guy was insane. He was really, really good, that guy. I'm very surprised. Okay, yeah, he actually had an elite band of defenders with him, and he was able to block everything. He had awesome skills. He had a, an ability called Shield Shockwave. So you can imagine that that's, uh, wow, that's amazing. Okay, anyway, I'm going to put Zoon back in the Overlord's chair. And I think we're probably going to take him into the online fight pits. And I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with all these other guys now. But I, yes, we are going to resurrect this assassin, of course. That is what we needed to do. There we go. And now, now the good things are happening. Yes, there we are. Our dagger has advanced in level. So let us do that. There we go. All right. So that is going to give us some minor increases right there. Gain five wrath on a stealth kill. That's actually pretty good. And uh, yeah, now we just have the level 60 upgrade challenge. Once we level all of this to level 60, we're going to be pretty good, I think. And our sword is currently pretty low level as well as our cloak. But that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so we need a slayer. Hmm. I guess I need to go to Minas Morgul, as I said. So, shall we go to Minas Morgul and see what we can do with a Slayer? See if we can level up our sword? That would be kind of nice. There is also a tribal showdown here. And what what's actually going on here? There seems to be some stuff going on. So, let's just travel over there and see what we can do. I do know... Don't we have that guy that just says bloody blood blood all the time? So, that, that I think that guy is a slayer, isn't he? So, we should be able to send him against someone. Although, he is very... Well, he is quite difficult to kill. So, I don't know whether we'll be able to. But, let's see how it goes. Alright, so where is he? Wow, there's actually a lot of people here. How, what level is that guy, by the way, that we have? Uh, there he is. Yes, Hura. Hura Blood Lover. Yes, we also have Nakra here, of course. So, he's a slaughter slayer. So, let's send him in a pit fight against... Who's going to win against him? That's the problem. Who is going to win against him? I guess we could send him against Nakra the Rogue or a Mystic Tracker, Schoon Blood Mad. I don't think he's... <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to win against him, actually. Uh, send him against Schoon Blood Mad, then. And let's actually go and witness this pit fight because we've got quite a bit of investment into Hura so it would be kind of nice to check that out is this the one no that's not the one where is it it's all the way over there of course it is yes why do I always forget where the fight pits are in this a in this area that's it's kind of weird anyway yes this should be quite interesting but I don't know I mean it, one of them is a mystic so you think maybe he's gonna have some tricks up his sleeve and the other one is well just 
frankly crazy and well bloodthirsty very much literally so that's uh, that's, a, that's a bit difficult to call well I, I guess all I can say to you is to you know place your bets place your bets who do you think is gonna win I actually don't know it's gonna be interesting to find out so yeah do, uh, wait a minute let's just actually take a look here real quick he has fireproof immune to curse and he's beast proof this fellow has immunity to executions immune to curse he's not poison proof however but wait a minute is our guy using any kind of special weapons nope I have a bad feeling about this well let's do it we we need to do it one way or the other because I think this is the only guy with the exception of Nakra that is actually gonna have any kind of chance to deal with Hura so I don't really know what's gonna happen here and I didn't really want to fast forward through this particular fight because I think it could be really fun to watch it and after we're done here I'll probably head over to Nernan and see what's going on with the siege and everything because obviously we do need to defend over there it seems like Hura is doing an absolutely fine job as we expected really I mean how could we expect anything different they're both savages as well, by the way. Well, they both technically have the same savage move set, so they're both able to do all of these abilities. I think Hura just wants it more, apparently. Yep, he's got him. Wow. Yeah, he absolutely slaughtered him. Easy. That was really, really easy for him. I don't know who's going to beat him. I really don't. And now that he's... Oh, he's gained three more levels. He's unstoppable, isn't he? Oh, dear. Hura, what are you doing? Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's that's interesting. All right. Well, we did get this dagger, which is actually really nice. It's a level 52 epic, but obviously I'm not going to be able to use that right now. Anyway, I guess what we should do is before we head on to Nernan, I'm going to... Uh, yes, I guess I'm gonna go into the market and maybe replace Schoon Bloodmad with someone that can actually kill Hura. I don't know who it's gonna be. I don't know whether I want to put a legendary in there or whether we want to get one of these guys. These guys are the ones that I've just recently acquired. Hoglick Bone Snapper. Does he have poison immunity? No. I don't think he's gonna. Oh wait, wait. Hura doesn't even use poison weapons. So why do I? Why am I consistently going on about that? Okay, so well, he's enraged by that. He has an epic Graug call, which might be really fun. So let's let's deploy this guy, and see whether he can deal with Hura. Og. Yes, Og the Rat Lord. Okay, so let's see what happens here. It's. I don't know. I don't know. Hura does. I mean, he's level 51. He, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know whether it's gonna. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, is it gonna be one of those times where it's just impossible for me to get rid of the guy that I really need to resurrect? Who knows? But I guess we're gonna find out once more. After this, we'll go to Nernan and see what's going on there. Whether we need to level up a bunch of our guys. I actually haven't gone to any other region since the previous episode because I've literally just been doing upgrades here have you seen the how this guy actually has a rat on the end of his weapon which is kind of hilarious in itself okay so this guy is well he is shielded so technically yeah as you can see technically he should have an advantage against Hura but do bear in mind that Hura has an absolutely insane amount of HP oh okay Okay, things are going well so far. Seems like defenders again are proving how good they are in the arena. I wouldn't count Hura out yet though, because you know how he is. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. He's doing so much damage just to come back out of nowhere. And he can get by the shield pretty easily as well. If he can. If he stops getting attacked by the Karagors, of course. But Hura is actually doing a really, really good job because he's actually targeting down the enemy Uruk instead of, you know, actually targeting down the Karagors, even though the Karagors are proving to be quite the distraction for him. But you can see how Og is having a difficulty defending against Hura, even though he's a defender. Look at this! If Hura wins this, we just have to proclaim him the Grand Master of this arena. Wow, he did. He literally did just win. Wow. I... I don't even know. I don't even know. At least we're getting some pretty cool loot, I suppose. This is a Sun Lord thing. Draining or dominating enemies recovers 100% more health. That's actually really nice. But, again, 
Probably not going to be using it because I do, but, well, I, I kind of prefer the raised dead radius. Okay, so I I could go down there and just kill Hura, but I, I don't know whether that really... I, I don't really want to do that. I think that's a bit... Eh, you know? It's like one of those things that you just, you kind of want him to have honorable combat, or as dishonorable combat as an orc is going to give in that situation. So, yeah, it seems like most of our orcs here are not very high level. Maybe we can find a slayer here in one of the tribal showdowns, or maybe one of the tribal warbands as well, because do bear in mind that the tribal warbands tend to have at least one legendary orc, and that would give us another piece of the slaughter set, which would be quite nice. But there seems to be a showdown very, very close by to us right here, so we might as well just go to that, see if it's a slayer or not. If it's not a slayer, then obviously we're... We're not really in the best possible situation there, because I don't think we have any other Slayers. I'm just going to take a quick look at our army, just to see. We have a tank, a destroyer, trickster, commander, commander, warmonger, tank, and trickster. Yeah, I don't think we have... We have an assassin. Oh, there's a Slayer! We've got Cougar the Legend! Oh, right, he's already doing something. He's raiding an enemy captain's supply cache. Okay, well, let's just do this thing to maybe get another slayer just in case but if he if he manages to fail this guy if he uh if cougar the legend fails then we'll have a pretty good idea huh we'll have a pretty good time of things anyway yes he's enraged by mortal wounds he has mighty defenders and he also has wow wow he's riding a dire caragor too wow he's pretty cool okay so i guess we're gonna see how he does in a couple of turns and we're going to see how we do against one of these guys. You bleed a lot, Pinkskin. Just the way we like it. Ah, that's rather unfortunate, isn't it? I'm actually... Oh, he's... Oh, he's arrowproof. Oh, dear. That is not good. That is not good at all, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something here. I'm, I'm gonna have to do this, I guess. Is he poison proof? No, it doesn't seem like he's poison proof, so that's good. At least everyone's dying now from my poison attack, so that's nice. He is frost proof, however. He's enraged by acrobatics, of course he is. Ah, uh, that would be my luck. Well, I guess I can just dodge him as much as I like then. Okay, now I'm gonna... Oh no! That guy hit me! Oh, that was annoying. Okay, there we go, there we go. Let's try and revive as many people as we can get. Because undead deal 60% more damage when they're near us. So that is what we like. Okay, let's see if I can do a nice execution on him. Oh yeah, he's not immune to executions either, so that's nice. Stealth kill! Apparently that is something that I can do. I'm gonna just go over here and see if I can eliminate this guy, because he's being annoying. Thank you. Whoa, the Enrage is really doing a lot, and he's all, oh yeah, of course he's going to adapt. He's arrowproof as well, but hopefully that can daze him just a little bit? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we're dealing some nice damage now though. Can I get some more? Yeah, there we go. Nice execution. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. I don't know whether I'm going to shame him and maybe try and get him at a later date. He is a commander, so it really doesn't make too much sense to really... I don't know. I mean, how much experience am I actually going to get from killing this guy? I actually don't know. I mean, it, it really depends on if he... Uh, well, it doesn't matter whether he has Iron Will. Huh. I guess we'll just shame him then. He's going to be level 49, so I guess that's pretty good. And he's good. I mean, he's a poisonous slaughter commando. That sounds really good to me. Oh, we still get experience for doing that, so that's great. The enemy captain escaped. He didn't really, though, did he, game? Yes. <laughs> All right, well, the timers are going down. I'm going to be going over to one of the Hydea Towers and increasing the speed at which that happens. Cougar the Legend is over here, so I suppose we should go over in this direction and see what we can do. And then, uh, hopefully we'll get him to maybe die? Uh, it's highly unlikely that he's going to, to be honest. He seems very powerful. So, let's just do it once more and see what happens. 
He is raiding some unknown captain's camp, as far as I'm aware, so the unknown captain could be quite strong. Oh, he fled? We don't even know who the unknown captain is. Oh, okay. Ulrock is attempting... Oh, there we go. That's nice. Ulrock Kingslayer has leveled up to 48. So the enemy was very, very low then. And this guy's leveling up as well. See, this is what happens when you just advance time. It seems all of your orcs just level up naturally just from them doing normal normal things which is actually pretty cool so you don't have to really do much if you don't want to so this guy let's send him against someone that can potentially kill him so we can upgrade our sword all rock kingslayer sounds like a good idea maybe i think he's the only one that can actually go against him anyway that looks to be the case so let's try it <laughs> I don't know whether this is going to work, but we'll try it. Hmm. I'm a bit dubious, suffice it to say. Alright, so let's go over here to the map and see where it's going to be. It's going to be over there. Alright, place your bets. Cougar is outleveled by two, but it really depends on their details, of course. So what is he terrified of? Not much. He is beast fodder, however, and he is enraged by mortal wounds. He has a defender shield, and he also has hail of bolts. It seems a bit weird, his his things here, but he is, a, ah, he has a fear of poison as well. I don't know whether this guy has poison attacks. He's terrified of executions. He is poison proof. He's power crazed after encountering a stronger enemy. Ugh. Oh, well, that's annoying. He has explosive shot. He is a crossbow user, by the way, so he's probably not going to be very good, but we'll try it. Are you an ugly one? I always have to fight the ugly ones. Another group for slaughter! Right, okay, so this uh, Ulrock Kingslayer doesn't have anyone helping him, and the other guy does. So I have a bad feeling that we're probably going to see... Uh, we're probably going to see the Slayer become a lot better, but again, I haven't really done much progression over here. So if I do want to kill this Slayer, I'm probably going to have to upgrade some of our other Orcs or just allow time to pass a little bit and then we can hopefully get some kind of resolution there because I'd very much like to level up my sword. Ulrock is not having a good time of things so far. I'd like him to use some of his mines if at all possible. Okay, never mind. Just die in almost one hit apparently. Okay, so now he's using that. Is he actually going to be able to shoot in time? Whoa, explosive shot. Nice. He, he does have an explosive shot, so that's nice. But now... Oh, oh. Oh, he's... Oh, okay. He's throwing bombs. Come on, Ulrock. Oh. Did you... <laughs> did you just see what happened there? Yeah, one of the defenders was on fire, ran into Ulrock, and then was like, Oh, here's... Here's... Have some fire. And uh, then he got himself caught on fire in the process. So that did not really work out too well. I mean, Cougar the Legend is legendary. So you can expect him to be very difficult to kill. I mean, I could go and kill him myself right now, but do I really want to? Do I really want to do that? Not particularly. And the sword that we get is pretty good, but again, we're just going to be using the Ring Wraith set for now. All right, okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit of off-screen here as well. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.